What's up guys, it's me your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and welcome back to our in-depth playthrough of Elden Ring. So today we are going to start part 31, and we have a little bit of maintenance to do here in the round table hold. First thing we're going to do is go through here, we're going to collect Encha's armor, which is very good by the way. There we go, the Royal Remains set. It's uh, the same exact weight as the Icarian Knight set, the regular Knight set. It's got really good resistance, just doesn't have as good a defense as some of those other sets. We're going to talk to Gideon the All-Blowing real quick. Uh, you. What is it? Um, doesn't look like we have any... There we go, Ensha. Oh, my apologies for that nasty business. Ensha got rather ahead of himself, it seems. As his master, I'd like to express my regret. But now, Ensha is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. Ah, yes. By way of apology, allow me to tender some advice in regard to the half of the secret medallion you possess. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I am sure. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I am sure. Hmm, very interesting. So we're going to have to go get that from her, but fuck your table, man. And all your chairs, too. I want you to have to rebuild everything in here. You can put it all back together, you dick. Yeah, how do you feel about that? He's so mad you can't even look at me. God, what is wrong with me? Okay, anyway, um... His adopted daughter, Nephili, is not in her normal spot, but let's talk to some of these folks. Ah, well, Nothing new from this guy, and that's okay. We don't really need anything from him, to be honest. May the golden order. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Nothing. Let's talk to Roger. Always good to see you say so. Rani's whereabouts. If Luna Princess Rani can she so, to Prick, she may have ridden royal car. We already talked to him <clears throat> about that. We're going to track her down soon. How about you? Greetings. Are you here for Of course I am. I do not have a tier five though. Bummer. Well, I took you no matter it's lay out your arm. Hey. The girl has come a long way, as ever time and technique have made her stronger. Tis good to see. An imprisoned monster does not deserve an apprentice or a daughter, but at times that's precisely what she feels like to me. I've gone soft, and it isn't easy. Alright, so I guess he truly must be fond of her. In a way. Hmm. We need... Um... We need a tier 5 really bad because we also have a tier 6 in our inventory already. So we can upgrade this guy to all the way to plus 7 probably if we just find a tier 5. I did get this. <laughs> Oddly enough, this guy needs regular smithing stones and it's considered a colossal weapon. But uh, the Golem's Halberd, I got this while farming runes. I was killing the ones that were um, just outside of Godric's boss room on the way to the Limgrave Tower. And they kill each other pretty fast, so they're easy to farm. I don't really think much of anything else in our inventory needs upgraded. I might keep upgrading this guy just to have like a really fast curved sword on us because we have a slash weapon being the scythe but it's not quite as agile as the curved sword so we might start upgrading that too. She... there we go. Ah, oh, you. Please. Leave me be. It's pathetic I know but I... I need to think. Ah, oh, you. Please. It's pathetic. Well, whatever you say. 
must be all she has to say for now. Let's rest, and we'll talk to Gideon, and he should have an updated dialogue about her. And then, once we do all of this maintenance that we have, we're going to go out there and do a little bit of uh, Lyurnia maintenance. We're going to go give the girl the Shabriri grape, and then we're also going to go get the other half of the medallion. Uh, find the Albin I the did not mean to do knows. that. Here we go. Ah, you've already heard. Indeed, it seemed the whelp harbored suspicions, so I had no further use for her. Honestly, what's a man to do? A determined plebeian is more wicked than an almond horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. Well, all right. So, Nephili, I guess he had to dismiss her or something. Something along those lines. And him saying that word omen brings to mind what that boss is called. I didn't pay attention to the health bar at all. Probably would have said in the health bar, wouldn't it? But omen killers, that's what they're called. I'm pretty sure that must be what leveled the village. Ah, oh, you, please. Man, oh, that was close. <laughs> so you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions, forgetting the mission, punishment for offing his pawns. Father, mother, Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him to place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I, though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. And I, I no longer trust him, Father. To think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? Mm, probably. No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. <laughs> you know what? I have something that'll make you feel better. Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. I'm not like Broderica. I don't feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them. Still, this ash... It reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. Well, you mean Dean? <laughs> In this ash. I can smell the ancient storm. It reminds me of my first hawk. In this ash, it reminds me... And I do believe she is referring to... This guy. Stormhawk Dean. Yep. Alright, so... Now we can get her dialogue to go a little bit further. Let me run over and talk to Gideon again just to make sure that there's nothing else to do and we don't have to spend an eternity, or at least the first chunk of this episode doesn't need to go entirely to the round table hold maintenance. Okay, nothing. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, fuck your table, man. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go find the Eyeball Eater. She's by the bridge somewhere. One of these bridges. Here we go. Yes! So we're going to give her that, and then she will move again all the way back up to the Bellum Church. Jeez. It's a good thing she doesn't move or talk or make any sound because these hungry wolves up here would come down and eat her. Hello? Would you donate? I'm on a pilgrimage and when I eat one of those. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. That aside, I wonder what Shabriri grapes really are. 
delectably tender and sweet, yet searing. What a sight they must be to behold. I don't know the difference between this dialogue. Like, I don't know... I don't want to say the wrong thing. I don't want to, like, mess her quest line up. I mean... Yeah, uh, I don't know. I have to use my head here, <laughs> I guess. If I don't say anything, she's not going to ask any more questions. Or she'll keep wanting them, but what if I tell her they're human eyes? Will she get grossed out and not want them anymore? All right, we got to take a chance. No. That's not possible. Not all of those people. Their own. So those noises I heard were... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm all right now. Don't mind me. <laughs> Are you gonna throw up? I apologize. You only did as I asked. I'll be fine. Think no more of it. I apologize. I'll be fine. <laughs> it's not that simple, because now it's all I'm gonna think about. <laughs> I've never had that dialogue happen before. She is, and she knows their eyeballs now. And now all we can do is watch <laughs> as she gets sick. Oh man, that's. <laughs> I apologize. You only did as I asked. I'll be fine. Think no more of it. <laughs> Please do it again. Oh. Oh, wow. That's funny. I... Shoo! I have never got her past the third grape before, so that was new for me. I've never experienced that dialogue. Let's rest and let's see if she actually goes to the Bellum Church. Uh, no. She's still here. Okay. Uh, is that you over there? I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. The reason why it was eyes I had to eat. The distant light is far and frail, so faint it can't be seen by the naked eye. But with everyone's eyes together, it appears. Finally, it all makes sense. I'm certain now. I will be a finger maiden. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> finger maidens have strong stomachs, so think about your career. I've gleaned something very important, I'm certain. Okay, great. So, now I'm gonna rest again. We'll see if she actually goes to the Bellum Church. Yep, she's gone. Alright, let's see where she went. Bellum Church, Bellum Church... Uh, where is the Bellum Church? Where the fuck is it? It is... Here? Church of Vows? No. Um... Grr. Where is... Is it here? No. Nomadic Merchant, the Ravine, the Bellum Church. She... I could have swore she was supposed to go there. Finger Raider Crone. There we go. Okay. Raya the Scout. Who's this? Come on. Patches. Alright. That was what we forgot to do over here, by the way, was we forgot to talk to the shrimp guy and get the necklace back. I think we want to do that real quick. Yeah. Let's do that real quick and then we are going to continue with the action you all right so that little hut i think is like right here yeah let's mark that on our map and let's get to it because we got to go get that girl's necklace back she's also going to pop up in another location later in the game 
Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Boiled bronze. Which is actually a starting item. It raises your defense. So let's get this grace. Let me get rid of my check mark. Now this guy's a dick. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? Yeah, man. I'm trying to finish it. Ah. That necklace what you're after, is it? Mm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. You're a shrewd one, Chief. First, you hand me the runes. And don't try nothing, neither. Bruh, I could straight mug your ass. Like, leave you on the ground wishing you still had your teeth. But I'm gonna buy it. Alright. Necklace stolen from Raya by the Blackguard. Features a relief of a dignified looking woman from a foreign country. It appears to hold great significance for Raya. And that person who's in there... I don't know who that is, but we're going to have to pay attention to what that face looks like, and we're going to have to see if anybody resembles it as we clear the game. Mm. All right. Take it. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. Don't come crying to me later. Bro, I'm not going to come crying over a thousand runes. I am going to want to buy these prawns from you, though. Oh, piss off. What is it now? Oh, I see. You want some of me prawn? Freshly cooked it is. All right then. It's yours. If you can meet your price, I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits too. If you've got the runes. All right, so. The Boiled Prawn, he sells. Boosts physical damage negation for a time. This is essentially um, going to be the defense version of your Strong Meat. Um, it's, well, pretty good. It's a starting gift, and it doesn't last for very long, but it's really, really good if you know you're about to fight something that does a ton of damage and you don't want to get one shot. Oh. So you met the girl, did you? All right, well sod the particulars of the matter but it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped is it anyway she ain't all right that one lucky she ain't died on the bloody roadside i reckon marica's tits you must be hungry all right so <laughs> we got that guy as a merchant now and we need to go back and find so, that would be in a straight line, right here. Raya the Scout. I don't know a whole lot about this NPC. Like, honestly, it's strange to me. I don't know why she's called a Scout. But, she is. Yeah, she's over here in this stone housing shine. He's, oh, great. All right. Guess we're gonna have to try to deal with Deathbird first. Deathbird, who happens to be in the water like a dumbass. Eat lightning. Oh, that didn't do very much at all. Well, fine. Eat this. Yeah. <laughs> didn't like that, did you? Asshole. Eat that. All right. So, this probably seems kind of lousy and cheesy to fight Deathbird like this, but... Oh, the trees! Damn it. Seems kind of lousy to fight Deathbird like this, I will admit, but... I don't want to fight Deathbird right now. Like, this is an unexpected fight. I don't have any firebombs. Alright, and Deathbird very much does not like holy damage, so let's do this. Ah, and I really don't recommend locking on to Deathbird at all. I think I covered this before when we were fighting on Limgrave. Yeah. Alright, here we go. 
As long as he doesn't do the grab, we should be fine. Let's see if we can hit him with this lightning. Oh, come on. No! Oh, he got rid of my bubble. <laughs> what a dick. Um, okay, that did alright. It didn't do very much better than the spear, but whatever. Our flail rips him apart. Alright. Screw you, Deathbird. Didn't want to fight you anyway. Need to go find a girl. And then we get the red feathered branch sword, which is the... We already have the blue one. It will raise our attack when our health is low. That's the basically the red tear stone ring of this game. The thug should be resting at an abandoned ease. Here you go. Oh, yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? I am Raya, in the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. I seek stalwart tarnished, who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is precisely what my mistress seeks. Please, take this. Bam! We got the invitation to join their group. Brave Tarnished. Seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Most Tarnished are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering Erd Tree. But you are no ordinary Tarnished. And once that is proven, the Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation. To fight amongst a family of champions. That sounds great to me. Oh, and one more thing. Only for you. This land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the Grand Lift of Dectus, beyond the high road. But the lift has been defunct for an age, meaning there's no simple means of passage. Instead, you must seek the old ruins in the cliff, at the base of the valley, near the Grand Lift. There's an old tunnel. It was excavated from both ends, linking Liernia to the Altus Plateau. I have faith in you. A champion through and through. I do hope that we can meet again. And that right there is her making us aware of the ruin-strewn precipice, which is exactly how we got there. That's how we took the lift, the secret lift, into the Altus Plateau instead of using the medallions to activate the grand lift. Seek the old at the base of the valley. It was excavated. I have faith in I do hope. Okay. So I guess she kind of answered my question. That's why she's considered a scout, because she's looking for Tarnished. And that would also explain why Patches, over here by the fire, we can see him even from here. There he is, popping a squat, shitting himself, hopefully, jerk, but um, she actually ends up getting Patches to go over there. I'm pretty sure she's the one that convinces him to go to the manor, and uh, Patches really does show you who he is in this game. He changes character quite a bit, and I think it's a very interesting transformation for his whole entire, like, demograph as a character through this series. So, alright, let me think if there's any other, like, small stuff we need to do... We talked to her, we got the necklace back, we got Boiled Prawn Guy. Um, I wonder if anything will happen if we go talk to Patches real quick. That's one thing I want to brush on, and then I promise, I swear, we will get back into the action. Yeah, let's see if Patches has anything relevant to say about going to the manor. Uh, nope. Doesn't look like it. He does not have anything to sell us either. Nothing useful anyway. Alright. For, for what? I didn't do anything. Alright. So what we want to do now is we want to go up here to EG. And I think 
this is probably going to be the last thing we need to cover before actually doing the big dungeon of Lyurnia, which is Rey Lucaria, that giant thing floating up there. Uh, you know what? I finally remembered. I know exactly what it is I need to do. I don't have nearly enough firebombs. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second while I go collect some butterflies. I know there's one nice place to do it. My friend here who enjoys coffee, just like I do, always has them floating around. Here we go. Yes, there we go. Let's see if he has any for sale, actually. No, doesn't look like it. That's okay. We definitely want to get our mushroom. And trust me, once we get into this place, you're going to know why it's important for us to have firebombs. As many of them as we can possibly get. So we're going to hit the gate front too, because I know there's a couple bonfires over here that are going to have plenty of these. And then there's also a spot out in the... Well, I can't be too reckless through here, but... I suppose if I'm on Torrent, anything is possible. Alright. Take your butterflies. They are mine. Ooh, three that time? Hell yeah. Any others? No? Alright, that's fine. So, let's do this. We'll rest at the grace and reset them. And then we're going to head out into the spot with the slimes in the field. Which, that should be out under the big bridge. It should be like... Mm, is it here, though? No, it's not. It is... Up here. It's under... It's basically up in this spot, like right here. So we want to go... Yes. I wonder if it would pay to visit... Um, no, I don't have time for this. I'm afraid not. Oh wow, two of them? That's kind of annoying. I wonder if it would pay to go find Arena's spot and see if her dad like, shows up there or something again. Okay, we'll do this, and at least I think there was a spot over here that had some flaming salamanders, right? There was supposed to be. I'm not crazy. I swear there were fire salamanders and a bunch of butterflies. Here we go. But no butterflies. Yes, butterflies, thank god. <laughs> they just hadn't rendered. Alright. Very nice, very nice. I'm happy about this. Because I need a bunch of them. We're going to have to make, like, mass firebombs. And I'm going to kill you. I'm pretty sure they respawn. But they do drop the butterflies, and I need that. Oh, strip of white flesh. Never mind. Still a useful item, just not what I needed. Okay. And then we got a knight up here. I don't care about him. Wait, what was that? Oh, I thought I saw an item glowing in the distance. I was like, there's no freaking way I missed an item. Okay, so now let's go all the way back since we have stuff to make our fire pots, which is ultra important. And I am going to change the time of day because I'm not doing this place in the dark. Wait a minute. It says late night, but it looks like it's getting to be morning. Weird. Okay, so this part is kind of funky. We have to deal with that. <laughs> and that is actually coming from the boss, believe it or not. So let's run up here. I do know there's a payday up here. 
There they are, the coffins I was looking for. Big rat. Big boy. Alright. Don't really care about the rats. And more so worried about the runes. Ah. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see the rat <laughs> in these conditions. Ooh, mushroom. Okay, so... There we go, that was a tier 5. And another tier... F well... Except I'm not grabbing it. Come on, man. There we go, tier 4. Excellent. Very much worth grabbing. Okay, let's head through here. What's this? Row of fruit. We are going to need that. For the strong queen. Alright. And evading these arrows is quite easy. It's really not a big deal. <clears throat> more mushrooms. We're gonna need them. Let's head up here just to make sure there's no floating items that we didn't grab. Okay, there doesn't appear to be anything up here on the hill. Fine with me. Alright, and then this spell will cease as soon as you run up in here. Which is good. Don't try to stop and read that because it's not going to work. <laughs> You're just going to get hit by the attack if you try to read that. Okay, and we'll go down here real quick. Grab ourselves a mushroom. Doesn't look like there's anything else, though. How about over here? Nope. We got a group of baddies. All right. rough them up. Don't even try, man. Give me your pants. Alright. And then, yep, it's starting to get foggy over here. It's starting to get no likey. Okay. What we got over here? We got some poop. I'll take that. All right, where are we? So we are now heading towards this little body of water over here. This body of water is where we saw that thing running around when we were at the Bellum Church. So yes, indeed. There we go, yeah. Hoarfrost Stomp. <laughs> now we can put it on whatever the hell we want. That there is the Bellum Church, by the way. Which, she did not go there, so I don't know. wonder if I messed something up with her quest line. <laughs> I wonder if I wasn't supposed to tell her uh, that she was eating eyeballs. Okay. Can never have enough mushrooms or sleepy time arrow flowers. Gimme, gimme. All right, and then do we miss anything else? I know you can run all the way across this ledge to get down there, which is how we got to the ruin-strewn precipice, but... All right. A couple of people were telling me in the comments that Horfrost Stomp is actually still pretty damn good, but they're saying it's not quite as busted as it was, which... Eh... You won't hear any complaints from me. Even as somebody <clears throat> who greatly admired that weapon art and used it probably too much, even I will admit that it definitely needed to be nerfed. Like, it straight up needed it. Alright, so let's hit this guy. I doubt we can get out to the sword... Wait, do we have a dialogue for Melina? 
No. Okay. Thought we did. We do have a lot of runes on us, though, so let's get a couple levels, shall we? We'll do maybe a little bit more faith. And, well, no, I think we're good on faith for now. I'm going to need some more endurance. We need stamina. I don't think I can get out to the sword without getting destroyed. But I'm going to try. Yep. Not good. Okay. <clears throat> so that's not happening. Fine by me. Um, Let's do this. We for sure need some kind of fire. So let's go to our spells. We have an extra slot. Mm, that'll work. Okay. So fire. Fire is incredibly important in this place. Like, probably more important than anything else. It's fire is more important than your, your main weapon. Alright. So let's take a look. You can probably not see it very well. Come on. Move. Do something. Okay. He dematerialized. I'm going to have to find... There we go. Here's an active one. So, you have these different kinds of hands here, different sizes. They run across the ground like spiders. It's like something straight out of your nightmares. Really made me uncomfortable. Scared the crap out of me the first time I came through here, especially when I saw my first big one. You got big ones. The big ones have rings on, and they have a magic spell that will paralyze you, similar to what happens with mind flayers in Demon Souls, or the the Mind Flayer equivalent in, in Bloodborne. So, these things suck. They are truly terrible. They're like the worst enemy in the game. I really hate them. You have two of the big ones on these pillars here, and they have really nasty grab attacks. They hit incredibly hard. These things will shred you in five seconds flat. Less than that. And there are all of these corpses, like these items, that are littered across these fields, but the hands are in the ground underneath them. So if you try to loot the items, they will come out of the ground and squeeze you and kill you. It's really terrible. Like, you can literally see one right there. Like, you see that item, but then you see the fingers and the fingernails sticking out of the ground. This is a, this is a terrible place. I'm excited. So, let's do this. I really want to I really want to stress the importance of fire here. So, let's pull this guy. And they are fast. They're incredibly fast. Like, once this guy aggros, he's going to come at you so fast you almost won't have time to throw the firebomb. Don't throw it until he's close enough, though. Do not. Alright, that's what you want. <laughs> Wait for them to start rolling around. Oh my god. Oh yeah. These things are awful. They are truly awful, but... They drop somber smithing stones, which is nice. It's a very high percentage drop. You almost always get it. So now we're going to pull this guy. Here we go. Come on, man. So that's the magic attack. Get behind a pillar when they do that. And then it explodes. So don't be near it when it explodes. How awful. No. These things are bad. They're so bad. I don't think strike damage is the answer for these things. I think we should probably be trying to use the Twin Blade against them. Slash is probably much better since they are... They're just skin, really. They're soft enemies. Okay, we have another big one patrolling out here. I think I can see him, actually. Let's try to get, like, a sneaky shot against him. If we can. And watch the grass. Like, 100% watch the grass. Yeah, let's get this guy. Come on over. So what we want... Is we'll keep this ready. They can be parried. I know we're not parried. I, they can be reposted, I know that. So, if you do like a guard counter on them... Which, be careful if you do... 
I recommend just going the fire route. Like, the fire route is safe against these guys. It's easy. Oh, yeah. This is... Yeah. <laughs> Slash damage is a lot better against these guys. So, there you go. There's your proven test. Um, you're going to want to go with thrust or slash damage against, against these guys. And strike is not going to get it. And look up. No matter where you go in this level, look up before doing anything. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're killing these things in one swing. Yeah. Okay. No brainer. Okay, smithing stones. I feel like the stuff you get in this level is kind of underleveled for the trouble you deal with, but all right. So we have made it to the main fountain area and you know, the small ones, they're not so annoying. They can't do anything unless they're in severe numbers. <clears throat> it is absolutely these big guys here that you want to watch out for. Like, these should be your concern at all times throughout this level. No. Okay. So, it remains consistently difficult for me to try to kill these things before they can get some kind of damage in on me, but you get the point. Hit them with a fire pot and, uh... Open them up for as much follow-up damage as you can get on them. And I'm going to say it again, for the love of God, watch where you're stepping. Like, do not blindly step out into, like, a giant human hand trap. Well, I won't say human hand because these some of these, these, these hands don't look human to me. They, they look very, uh, very demonic in nature. Cannot use torrent. Okay, because I was going to try to jump over to that. Don't think we can. I'm going to try one more time, though. Okay, let's do the old hold circle and then jump trick. Nope, okay. Alright, so for this part, honestly, you can just kind of free aim it. That went rather well. Rhymed Crystal Bud. More Smithing Stones. Don't mind if I do. Okay. I guess I should probably make it a little easier for you guys to see. Sorry about that. Oh, wow. That was, like, anime-esque. No. <laughs> you should have stayed in the ground, dude. Okay, we have more big ones down that way. Let's go up here first. Collect some items. Ugh. I see you. Alright, let's try this. Let's see. Let's see if lightning does anything to them. Uh, alright. That... Oh, no! The lock on broke. How severely inconvenient. Thank goodness for trees. Alright, so that one wasn't so bad. We were able to get rid of him with ease. And you don't have to aggro all of these things. Like, you don't have to kill every single one of them. Like, maybe you want the drops, right? Like, maybe you want them to drop all the, the smithing stones. But it's really not dire for us because we have the bell bearing. So, if I want tier 1 or 2 smithing stones, I can just buy them. So, hello. I don't think I got you on my first playthrough. I don't remember seeing that item. We're going to have to remember where that is once we get up there. Ooh, I dread going through here. I wonder if there's another one up top on this side. No. Okay. 
a shred of mercy. So the only ones that we want to worry about are the ones that are beneath items. That's it. Like this guy, notice how he's just in the ground. Like, we don't need to aggro him. Why would we? Ay, but they're everywhere. God, they're everywhere. So bad. There's just so many of them. And then we have wolves up there as well that we're going to have to watch out for. Um, okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Ay! That's cool. Okay. <laughs> so you've been through a minefield, but you've never been through a hand field, have you? That's really cool. That, uh... The crouch attack is like an upward slash. I, I really like that. Oh. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Okay. And that's a thrust attack if it's one-handed. So, 294 is what we deal with a running thrust attack. But a regular thrust slash is 274 okay so yeah they definitely for sure take more from slash than they do thrust oh fuck this i'm just taking the i'm just taking it without screwing myself over all right let's lower them down here if y'all truly want to fight So it looks like lightning is pretty effective against these guys. Man. That attack that they they open up with can be kind of quick though. Alright. This is going to be locked. For sure. Does not open from this side. Makes sense. It's a Souls game. Shit. Well, I'm glad that didn't work. I would have wasted one. Didn't mean to hit that button. Let's do this. We did not go into this side of the field, and I know <clears throat> that there are items over here. We just don't want to get got. Okay, we got the hand that was patrolling. Oh, there's another one. Lots of these Crystal Rhyme buds out here, and this one is being weird. He's doing like this weird kind of like... uh. I did not totally just mimic what he was doing with my own hand on my desk. Not at all. <laughs> Don't really know how to describe what he's doing. It's a very strange motion. Must think you're so clever, hiding in the ground. Okay, let's be very sneaky. Shit! I'm out of fire pots. Lots of these buds. He did the grab attack. Alright. So we're gonna have to... There we go. No. We're gonna have to try to be smart about this. Try to use our stability to our advantage. There we go. Guard counters, but we do need to be careful because... Some of their attacks are multi-hits, so it's not always going to work like that. There we go. The tree helped us out quite a bit against that guy. So we do need to be more careful. We need to try to look up first before we try... ...going towards any of these items, because, I mean, that's just the way these games are designed. A lot of this is going to be... ...traps, for sure. So let's not... let's not get swallowed up in any traps. All right, so this, I believe, is kind of the way we want to go. So maybe we shouldn't go this way first, but no, uh, I'm going to. This is a trap. 
100% a trap. I think. Yep, there it is. Yep, Soul Spear comes out of the ground. Okay, Glintstone Craftsman's... Let's actually take a look at that. We have not been looking at our cookbooks lately. I don't think we've picked one up in a long time, actually. That's probably why. I think I already passed them. Yeah, here we go. So, this one, we just picked up the tier 6. We can do the freezing pot now. Killer. Let's see if we can make those, actually. Yeah, there we go. So, the freezing pot is uh, pretty useful. We're going to run into quite a few enemies in this game that are severely weak to frostbite. There we go. So these, as you can tell by looking at them, these appear to be albinarics. Take care of these guys. And now you see the sword sticking out of the ground? That's how you can identify where the traps are. So you look for the dagger that is conveniently sticking out of the ground and don't step on it. And here's another one. And it's not for show, it's not just flashy, it's like, it will hurt pretty bad <laughs> if you get hit by it. Alright, so... I think we should do this. Um... We know that... Lightning Spear is pretty good against these guys. Don't fall, dear god. Ah, of course. Alright, let's do this. Oh, you suck. Maybe we can get a Poison Cloud going on this guy and see if we can poison him. Try to whittle him down a little bit. No? Okay. Fine by me. Eat this. There we go. Oh, that I didn't even need to use it again. That worked great. I am going to need to get that scarab, though. Very much so. All right. So we ideally want to go back there and go keep continuing that route. But I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything in this beginning part. No extra ways that we could have gone. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So let's go ahead and smash these guys. Without scaring that guy away, because we need him. Make sure we're not jumping into our... or leaping to our doom. Okay. We did. You're wondering why it's the same attack, but for some reason these guys take 294 and that guy took 374. It's because he was not aware of us. Okay, nice little mushroom. Come here. There we go. Try to lead him towards the rock if you can, because... Oh, he had a an Ash of War. He didn't give me my flash back. Well, try to kite him towards the wall if you can, or just kill him in one hit from range, because he's going to run you right into that guy, and you do not want to do that. Alright. I really would like a blue flask, because... Well, I have enough to do what I need to do, which is summon my children of the night, my minions... I probably won't need them for this part, actually, now that I think about it. We can just be nice and stealthy and deal with it like that. So, let's see, we got this guy up here. Let's deal with him. No. 
I didn't even need that herba. <laughs> I just was very displeased with you trying to hide. As if you were going to get me. You think I'm going to get got? You think I got where I am by getting got? I ain't never going to get got. I didn't know that that was there either. What the hell, man? I guess you could... Hey, there's a cliff right here, and you could scale down from the... Wow, I'm noticing all kinds of stuff that I missed in my first playthrough. I had no idea that item was up there. Okay, pretty sure we have covered all of this field area up here. Yes, yes, we did. Okay, we're doing good. I don't think we've missed any items in the grass, and that's pretty easy to do through here. Okay, anything up above? No. How about back here? No. Surprising. Okay. Alright, and then we got... I think we got one more big hand up here to deal with. Who's doing, like, the weird caress thing. I don't like it. Let me just pull this guy. Now, it's worth mentioning that if you have them at your disposal, you can do a lot of damage against these guys with Kukri. Like, Kukri works really well. You can kill the small ones in just one hit with Kukri. Alright, let me do this. Shit. Alright, no, no, no. No, die! How in the... F I, I don't get it with these guys. Man, how in the fuck? Why is he alive? Bubble up. You're not supposed to be alive. Like, what the fuck? See, this is it. This is entirely... Where the danger lies with this enemy is, once there's more than one of them, you officially have a problem. So. Make sure there's none up here. Grab our mushroom. Thank you. Anything over here? No. Okay. I'm right. Killer. We have made it one step further. And this here, you'll notice this ghost looks a little bit different. This is like a full-on carrion knight. Lady Rani, we have long awaited you. I pray for your house's swift arrival. May the full moon shine upon Caria. Which is where we are. This is the Karian Manor. I don't know why I like to break that stuff. I just do. Okay. So now we're going to work our way up further into here. Got ourselves a graze. There's going to be an NPC up there, I believe. Great. Well, I'll be damned. Can we level up? Nope. But that's okay. Wow. So I think that is a great place to stop for today's episode because as we continue to push further into the Carrion Manor, like you can see, we started here at the front gate and everything that we seemed to push through was just like barely the front yard. And we just got to our next graze, and we're going to have like a big boss up here in this water pool. It's going to be really cool. But we have uh, quite a bit of fighting left to do ahead of us before we finish this miniature sort of dungeon area. And doesn't get easier. As a matter of fact, it just gets worse the further you push in. And the boss isn't so difficult. It's not going to give us such a hard time. But fighting our way there is going to prove most treacherous. So... I hope you guys are continuing to enjoy this series. Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode of the In-Depth Playthrough of Elden Ring. 
I've been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.